Hello guys, hope you are doing great. Today I would like to explain you how to win wars with little manpower or losing little manpower I should say and I like to back up my explanation with practice so we are going to show this with the Kingdom of Poland we defeated Germany and if you click here we lost only 66k and the date is September 39 because now we are dealing with Italy but we finished Germany a couple of months early by July I think so if this is okay for you I'm going to show you the, the tips that I use here if you are subscribed to Paradoxian and you want to see only games you can subscribe to Tino Dua English or Tino Dua if you want games in Spanish I leave you the channels in the descriptions I hope to see you there. So let's start from the beginning. I play a Habsburg, so I inherit Czechoslovakia and trigger the war very early. Both nations are unprepared. Here it was Germany, the Konigsberg area, the East Prussia, and with the Wing Hussars I wiped them out very fast. I free those units, some more units, to start attacking and I move them here. They are now in reserve waiting. And my spearhead is now here, is attacking this area. But before doing this, you must secure the frontier and you must check all the combats. And you should verify that the enemy breakthrough should be um, lower than your attack and that the enemy attack should be lower than your defense. That's it, that is uh, the rule. If these numbers doesn't go this way, means that you are doing something wrong. And that is why big units are much better. Check my video on large versus small units. We'll explain that relation. Also, I have made a video on the perfect defensive division. As you can see, most of my divisions have this icon here, meaning that they take half damage and dealing twice as damage. So this unit is going to be devastated. We are going to unpause speed number two and as you can see they are destroyed. The Shamans keep attacking attacking but they are already completely destroyed now because they are all the units are wasted and they attack one by one and it's pointless when the war started where they attack with, with more units of course a units all the units concentrated but now it's kind of a des desperate situation for them because they cannot move the line an inch because as I explained in the templates these infantry templates are kind of very cheap to produce and very hard to destroy so you should always attack with your spearhead never attack with your infantry because if you attack with infantry you are going to have heavy losses and as you can see you must verify the, the rule here because of the, the eyes that know all the, the modifiers and I still have no good supplies I'm under bomb so in my transport I have I'm having a hard time but you must verify here but the enemy should never have a defense sorry an attack higher than your breakthrough my units are under construction so they are still very very weak they have just one battalion of tanks each they will should have seven and but they breakthrough should be higher than this number and it is so 150 is higher than 100 and they should have always armor so I'm going to win this battle with not many casualties so now, as you can see, I have conquered the supply depot and I'm just waiting the enemy's furious attacking and I check that the enemy breakthrough is lower than my defense so I can damage them badly and that my defense is much higher than the breakthrough and I should always try to have the shield icon on my side I don't have these units already because they are... I, as I said, I use not all my divisions are big, I use a mix and as I get richer I start to transform my weak unit into stronger units. Now I move my armor divisions from here to here I'm going to take another supply depot that is here, I already took it and I'm going to isolate the enemy 
first you start by doing small pockets of enemy units and you must study the terrain and the supply depots. This is a good place, for example I started here, take this province, this province and now I'm going to connect with this one, that is I can support from two provinces, so three against one and these two units will be isolated and in the meanwhile I send my elite infantry that are also under construction but as you can see they have the shield meaning that they are taking very little damage and doing a lot of damage to the enemy with minimal resources so these units are so cheap and so effective that it's a no-brainer to use these elite infantry units and kind of keep advancing now that I conquer the supply depot there and isolated the units and destroyed I'm doing a second pocket here, I'm showing these units with these units this is the only situation when I, I attack with infantry but as you can see I'm using me my wing hussars with my infantry that also has armor so let's see the number, they have 150 breakthrough and the enemy has less attack so they are safe it's perfectly valid to attack in this case with infantry and i cut them and kill a few units but as you can see i'm only taking attacks from the enemy never attacking with my infantry all the line is completely static except with the winger star that are moving to take place by place now so after connecting and taking the supply depot i move through the railway and I'm going to isolate this, all these Sherman units here and since the unit is an elite unit, check the template on the Wind Hussar there is no possible resistance if you do a good armor template, in this case horses plus armor and as you can see they are still very weak, 100, but it's enough for the stats of the day of that age because they are using 1836 rifle and I'm going to isolate more units here and destroy again I keep moving and moving all the time these units but the attacks are being done by only the elite units and then after a circle going back with the armor and destroying the whole pocket and let's see how the template of the armor is right now it's keep evolving now they have three battalions they will have more battalions they should have seven and they should have two anti-air so now after taking some slices with your armor spearhead the enemy is weakened and the front line move a little bit you must always take care of the enemy planes, I put my few planes on interceptions and I use radars so I have the upper hand and now it's time for going to Berlin since the enemy is weakened and I am advancing with no problems and since they have horses and do I do not use trucks they move, move much much faster as you can see the speed is 4.5, if I were using trucks they will be moving at 1.4 in the forest with this, with this climate or maybe less sometimes ok, I captured Berlin but as you can see I do not use front lines because I move manually all the units if you use front lines like this, let me show you the problem is that the I the, the the system will start moving units from all side to side and you cannot afford that because they lose the entrenchment entrenchment so you need to manually control the units as I do if you want to optimize your resources because Germany is quite strong and if you keep moving your defenses they will break your line with no problem so I need to have them I need to have them fully entrenched and move them manually from where I have resources for example here I move them one by one to the front line but not too many because they are going to be few supplies here as you can see is everything in red and now I have the another nice opportunity I could go uh, right 
for a port since I use little field, my, I'm using horses, so I'm going to try to reach the port and cut a big chunk, actually the, the most elite units of the Sherman armies we are on this side, so I could cut them in half. Before going for the sea, I expanded the base here, because there are plenty of supply depots, so I conquer them all and as you can see they are red, they don't, do not have uh, supplies working yet, trains, but since they are heavy population centers and my also did a pocket here by the way, they have uh, resources from the province. So as long as you don't put too many units, too many heavy units, they are going to be fine with the local supplies. And finally, with the tanks resupplies in the south, I went back and when I'm going to reach the port very soon. Let's see the combat. And we are, yes, we are going to be winning very easily. As you can see, we, we are going to be doing a very huge pocket here. Okay, I reached the sea, I connected with the with the Konigsberg area and the enemy are in a pocket, no way out and on this side they have kind of the rest of the Sherman army but they are going down very very fast now I could go whatever, wherever I want well I'm not going to need the 6 and tier retreat because that's the bomber trap but they are going to be finished before <laughs> I could do that. That's when you're going for a long war against Germany or the Soviet Union. It's not the case. And let's take a look at the stats. We are going to see our main army here is our offensive cavalry. And let's check the details. And they lost just 2.6k men. So they are almost destroying the whole of Germany alone and losing only 3,000 men and now let's see our infantry army is this one they are taking the, the heat of the enemy they are there they lost 55k men always on defense and after that we broke the line with the horses again and they span everywhere they have no trouble, no Sherman resistance. They cannot attack. They are broken. Here they, they have militia. They have not the strength to fight against an armor unit. So the war is over with minimal losses. Well, as you can see, it's not complex. You need to have a very good defensive template, a very good offensive template. Do not attack with your infantry, attack only with your armor and plan your attacks. Use the railways, take into consideration the air, always have control of the air, at least defensive. And well, I cannot help you more than that, I think. It's kind of practice and hope that this helped you in some way. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.